Hey, Tim's Workshop. Uh, I'm going to do a video on uh, trailer lights. Uh, my boat trailer light uh, uh, system, I put some qu quick connects on my magnetic uh, um, lights, uh, tail lights for the trailer. I did a, uh, another video that uh, shows me using magnetic uh, lights, but uh, I wanted to do a separate video on the, on the wiring aspect of it. So uh, that's what this... Uh, video will be about and uh, hopefully it'll help you. Uh, please subscribe and leave comments. Thanks. So just a quick go through on a uh, trailer wiring. Um, this is your flat plug and then your wires go uh, into the tube on the trailer. Uh, go in here and then you got a ground wire and then they go up and they split off into different directions. So I'm going to do a, a schematic for you show you how these see this uh, trailers wired um, it has two uh, marker lights up here that run off your uh, running lights and then there's uh, another one on here on both sides and then uh, uh, amber and then you got uh, red on both sides and then uh, on the back end is where uh, I put my magnetic light. Uh, and this is the uh, plug that I uh, put on here. I'm trying to do this one-handed, but uh, I like this. It has a nice, uh, has a little cover on it, you know. So you have your female in here. And then on the light, I have the male connection. And... Uh, you just hook them up and then uh, disconnect it uh, when when you're ready to put them away. This side over here, same thing. I have the uh, connector here. Your red light, amber, and markers. Markers there. And uh, so, yeah, that's it for this end. And then. Uh, on this end, these are the lights. This is where I store them at. And then I get the uh, male connectors attached to these. All right, so I'll kind of go through and drop a easy schematic that you can understand. If I start explaining all this, it'll get too confusing. All right. Okay, so I made up a, uh, a schematic um, and had some uh, colors here that uh, I added on the picture view of this uh, boat trailer. And uh, up here, uh, I wrote uh, the color coding for what I have. Uh, most trailers um, have a green wire, a yellow wire, a brown wire, and my brown color wasn't working, so I used purple, okay? But it would be green, yellow, um, um, brown, normally. <laughs> and then uh, white wire uh, for your ground. But I used, because uh, I'm using a white sheet here, I used a brown mark or a black marker for the ground, okay? So um, you have a, a flat plug up here. And uh, the flat plug has a ground and three pins on it. Uh, and then uh, your uh, ground wire coming off of that grounds to the tongue of the trailer to start with. And then um, from there, uh, your, uh, your brown wire uh, goes down both sides of the trailer all the way to the back um, to the trailer lights but it also uh, your brown wire will also hook up to your uh, your markers your yellow markers caution markers and also your red markers and it also has uh, so you have uh, uh, two red markers on the fender and uh, two yellow on the fender uh, two yellow up front and then you have uh, your uh, three yellow or three red um, markers in the back 
which are all tied into the brown uh, wire. The brown wire is your running, running lights, which also goes to your tail light. And then your uh, yellow wire comes off the plug and goes down the left side and hooks on to your tail light. The yellow wire is for your left blinker. And then your green wire comes off and goes down the right hand side of your trailer, which would be the passenger side. And it ties into your uh, right blinker. Okay, so that's how that works. And so you have a ground up here that ties to your tongue, but also each light has a stud or it ties into the frame of the trailer, which uh, is your grounding point on each light. Each light has to have its own independent ground. Um, so the trailer uh, will do that and then when you bolt your lights on, that's where you get your ground from. If um, in the case of my magnetic light, it doesn't, it just sits on top of the, uh, uh, the metal plate angle at the back of the boat. So um, the uh, flat plug that I put on, it has its own ground. And so I grounded it to that uh, angle plate on both sides with a wire. So the, the flat plug that I have up front is like the one I have in the back on the, on the trailer. And um, the grounding point of it, that uh, I ground it to the uh, angle off the plug. So that's how that works. Okay, and then uh, uh, these points here where you have your markers tying in, uh, being you only have one wire uh, going to those uh, lights, um, what you do is they, uh, they have one of these clips that ties into the wire that's running down the trailer and then run a separate wire off of that uh, for uh, that goes to the light itself. So it ties into the marker lights. And then uh, this is the uh, flat plug for the uh, that goes to the truck. It it's a the plug on the on the truck is uh, has seven points on it for uh, hooking up uh, brakes and everything like that. This boat trailer doesn't have brakes because um, it's uh, it's only a 17 foot boat. So in that case, uh, this is a flat blade adapter for a, a boat trailer. So what I have on here, I have a, a uh, I have different flat connections on this that hooks into the the truck, and then out the then it has the female uh, side that plugs into the flat plug um, that's up here on the nose of the trailer. That's what that plugs into. And then, um, so um, on this plug itself, it has uh, uh, the brown uh, connection, which I put in purple here. It runs for the tail lights. And then the left side uh, uh, yellow is the left churn, right is green, and then the ground is down here. So if you look at it like this, um, you have your uh, your your uh, left and right blinkers. You have your uh, uh, running light pin, and then your other pin is uh, down here. It's kind of shoved in there a ways. I might have to pull this apart and push that pin back down and redo it. But uh, it's been working, so <laughs> I, I guess. I don't know why it's all the way down like that. Huh. Anyway, I gotta fix that. But these things, they come apart pretty easy, just a couple screws. And uh, this is what the plug looks like here uh, with the your ground uh, female uh, plug end that goes in, in for your ground. That would be, uh, this is the male side here. 
and that would be the female side here. And then these um, are your three pins that goes uh, your right turn, left turn, and your tail lights. That's how that goes together. Okay, so that is the wiring. I, I tried to make this as simple as possible. So uh, if you run into a problem and you're trying to figure out how these things are wired, here you go. <laughs> uh, sorry about my brown uh, color. Didn't it wasn't working? So I used purple, <laughs> which works, and then white. Of course, uh, I can't use white. I have to use black for ground. But uh, on the trailer, it's a white wire. All right. So hopefully uh, that'll help you. So I just use a small Phillips and uh, took the screws out. <laughs> the screws uh, stick right to the uh, magnetic uh, piece on the bottom there. Okay. And then for the wires, uh, here's your ground wire, right? It's grounded right to this uh, washer, whatever it is. And then you have your two wires going into the, uh, to the light. The, your red wire is your blinker wire on both sides right for as far as the light itself the black wire is your uh, running light okay so there I hooked up the green for this uh, passenger side uh, light I hooked the green up to the red and the which is a blinker and the brown wire which is uh, running lights for uh, for your trailer hooked it up to the black wire and then put the uh, split. These wires are, <laughs> they come kind of short on these, uh, on these uh, uh, magnetic lights. So I put the butt splices inside the cover like that. Yeah, that way it's kind of protected that way. And then put your four screws back in, and tighten them down, and you're good to go. Put your lights away, stuff the cords back up so they're not hanging out and that's about it hopefully that'll help you if you uh, want to do this uh, magnetic light uh, I like it because uh, with the these connections they're easy to plug and unplug you just got to put some um, some electric uh, uh, spray on it on the on the contacts so they don't get uh, corroded up and uh, that works and then uh, you put these lights away and when you're ready to use it you hook it up uh, and away you go and take them off before you put it in the water to keep the water out of these sinks and that'll last a long time All right 